so devotees just to say a few words before i request mr steve to come here and address us about his vast experience moving into this community uh, it's not easy to be a minister it's it's a dedicated service they give to the society and the community that makes people like them love them and respect them and give them that position to come there and serve for all of us and one of the biggest proof i can tell you today that we intimated him about this we requested him he come and he come and honor this function uh, just few days uh, before we could decide so with a very short notice mr steve you call us has agreed to come here and be present with us so a big thank you to you thank you so much and uh, with uh, with this we would like to offer you with, with a small token of gift and memory you can take it from the event principal father Mr Steve has got such a great understanding uh, understanding as soon as he entered and uh, was in front of the altar and he offered his uh, his namaskaras to the lord uh, he he said i would like to offer i would like to offer something i would like to offer something but i, I got only a few few dollars in my uh, in my pocket but uh, that shows uh, the, the the big heart and the understanding of the different values and traditions so with these few words uh, i would like to uh, request kindly request steve to come and uh, say a few words for us and uh, uh, let us know about the things happening in the community and how they are trying hard for keeping all the community uh, uh, to, to bring out a good harmony thank you so after all those Beautiful words. No pressure. No pressure on me at all. <laughs> Can I just say uh, I feel very honoured to be here with such esteemed company. I mean, from the uh, world uh, Hindu council to the yoga master and to the landlord. <laughs> he has a very honest face. Can you see? Very honest face. You hear the landlord who has an honest face. And thank you so much to our master, the whole community. You, you, um, You've honoured me really by inviting me to, to uh, be part of the opening of such an incredible uh, place of worship. I'll, I'll keep it brief and partly, I'm sorry, but Sunday night is, um, is my time with the family, so uh, we have dinner. Thankfully, it's only about a two minute drive from here, but I will have to go very soon after my speech. But I couldn't, I couldn't miss the opportunity. Uh, this is while the electorate I represent is called Oakley, this is in the middle of the electorate, because it goes all the way from Mormon to Springvale Road. So it just warms my heart that uh, this is a place now that is a Hindu place of worship. It's beautiful. I grew up, I grew up, as I said, about five minute, 10 minute walk from here. And you would not see, when I was growing up, you wouldn't see too many Indian Australians. Um, there were some, but you would never see a place of worship uh, right here in the heart of Marabina. Well done, good on you. I'm so, so pleased, so pleased. <laughs> I was driving uh, down um, Kangaroo Road just to come here. I saw a lovely older lady with a sari walking with probably her granddaughter just past the park. I thought, what an incredible picture, not of, of, of Indian culture, it is that too, but what an incredible picture of Australia. That's Australia. That is what Australia is all about. When I was growing up here, it, was, it wasn't as multicultural uh, then. Uh, I remember my um, mother was speaking to a friend of hers at Oakley, and you know Greeks, they're very loud, you know. And I was speaking, and as I were uh, walking away from each other, because I were just finished they kept speaking so loud because they're walking away. And I remember somebody came up and said, why don't you speak Australian? Because I was speaking in Greek. And that is, that is, for me, it stuck in my mind. I was maybe eight years old. And I thought to myself, hang on, but that's the language, that's my language. I was born in this country, I speak English, obviously, but Greek is also my language, as my culture. And I felt quite offended by that comment. It was an ignorant comment, 
an ignorant comment. But what you're doing here today, what you're doing here today, what you do every single day, is try and make sure that that kind of an eight-year-old child does not have to hear that rubbish from anyone. Because that's absolutely not the society we've built. Thank God that was many years ago. I'm older than I look, so when I was eight, it was many years ago. Can I just say that, um, very genuinely, I, I wish you in, uh, enormous um, good fortune and prosperity for this place of worship. Um, it gives me great pleasure to be here. I love the Indian uh, culture. I know there's many cultures. I love Hinduism. I've just come back from India. I was there for five days in Amrita, New Delhi, and um, Delhi and uh, Mumbai. Now, I haven't gone to the south yet, but I will go to the south. And you know, when you go there, you realise what an incredible civilization, what an incredible culture, or well, many, many cultures. And one that you should be very proud, and I've, I've said this, uh, some similar words in Burwood, but to the young people here, and to, to, to most of us here, you know, you know, you don't choose what culture you get born into. You're very lucky, you're very lucky you were born into a culture as, as strong, as rich, and as ancient as Hinduism, as Indian culture. You know, and then other cultures I get, Sikhism and a whole range of other But you are so fortunate. Many, many, many people go through their lives not having that sense of warm, warm embrace of not just their parents, not just their neighbours and family, but a whole civilization that's thousands of years old. That is just something you cannot buy. And that gives you, uh, gives you an enormous sense, and all of us, but you also, because you're the custodians of that, gives you uh, enormous uh, responsibility. You know, and this is, uh, this is why I'm proud of this committee and the people who set this up, because it's okay that you didn't choose to be born into such a beautiful culture, but it's not okay that you don't help promote the culture with your children, like you said. It's very, very important. Because culture seems like a very powerful thing, and I, I saw the poor little kid who, you know, was asked to say namaste to me, and he was like, ah, oh, namaste. <laughs> he was like, oh, really? Do I have to say that? I get it. Sometimes it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. I mean, I grew up in a Greek family. My God, that's very overwhelming. <laughs> but I've got to tell you that you, you, and we know adults in this room know it. When you're in your 30s or your 40s, you start appreciating that far more than when you're a child. Far more than when you're a child. And you look around you and you think, wow, I'm so privileged. Not only because I have this beautiful culture, this incredible family, these traditions, this language, but because I have the, the responsibility to pass on to my children. You know? So make sure you do. Language is important too, because it's a key. It's a key, in my view, in my view to culture, as a force of worship. Make sure that you do uh, promote it in your family, because you are a million miles away from India, yet India, the heart of India, the heart of Hinduism, in this room tonight is just as strong as if we were in Mumbai. It doesn't matter where we are, and it's what we said about the positive energy. You know, if we, if we get this group of people in this room tonight, this is where it is. This is where Hinduism and this is where your culture is, not anywhere else, in this very room. So I'm proud of you for this. I'm proud of you for, for making the effort. I'm proud of the landlord. He's giving you a good deal, I hope. Well, I don't know. <laughs> It's so, so important, you know. And we have another responsibility as Australians. We have a responsibility to not just tolerate difference, you know, not just tolerate difference. And the Premier, the Premier of Victoria has said this on many occasions, and we've been together to, to uh, Hindu temples together. And we have all the responsibility to respect and accept other people, even if it offends how we grew up, you know. So whether it be people's uh, every attribute of humanity, whether it be um, relationships between men and women, whether it be a different faith, a different job, different classification, different money, poor, um, same-sex relationships, we have to respect other cultures and other choices in our humanity because that is our insurance policy that people will then respect us. We can't have it one way. So we can do it. So when I walked in and I saw that beautiful, um, uh, you know, the, 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 the opening plaque, the plaque uh, with uh, one world, one family, this is exactly why Hinduism and Indian culture is, can I tell you, far superior because it's had thousands of years of experience. It can, teach, it can teach us a few things. It can teach us a few things. And I say to new citizens often when I'm 
are invited to a citizenship ceremony that, you know, when you go to school, the, the kids go to school and people think, oh, you're Indian, yeah? So you like Bollywood dancing in curries, you know? That's, that's people's immediate view, you know? And it's much more than that. My God, you, you, can, you have a responsibility to teach this community, people in the, in the neighbourhood here, all of Australia, the thousands of years of thought, the thousands of years of philosophy, the yoga, the meditation, the healing, the peace that you were talking about, that, to be honest, that's your responsibility because you'll make us a better world and a better people. And for that reason, for that reason you will always have my support. I'm your local member of parliament in where we're standing here. And I'm really pleased that, I was really pleased that they, they followed me from Burwood to Murrumbia, um, where we last met. And as I say, I, I, have a, I hope this, this uh, place of worship continues for many, many years. And I will be always, always welcome. Sorry, I'll always love to come. And I'm, hope, I'm always welcome because I always feel like I'm walking into a family in a, in a uh, Hindu function. I feel a lot of love in the room. And, and for that, I thank you so much. Steve, uh, Steve, you know, was, uh, if I can sum up your, your, your speech and your address to our community, I can say that we are extremely happy to be in your constituency. We, we have got a lot of trust and faith in you, so we are extremely lucky and thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking your experience. I'll keep it very short before, um, before you can join your family back for, uh, for the dinner. Uh, just a small word of thanks. Uh, for for making this this evening possible today, uh, starting with Steve Yorkwell School, with a short notice has come here. I would like to again uh, say thank you to him, Sri Rajendra, Gita Devi, Sarji, uh, who is visiting us uh, uh, for, just for just for a couple of days, traveling a uh, few kilometers from US, again going back uh, on on Monday, and uh, all the Sharma who is visiting us. So thank you so much. With this, uh, I would also like to say thank you to all, all, all the volunteers who worked very hard for, for the past week or two to, uh, to bring about changes in this, in this uh, 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 place to make, to make it suitable for making this uh, function happen today. So all the volunteers, I don't want to name each one of them, but all the volunteers who have participated in the decoration and worked very hard uh, for getting that this place is ready for a big cleanup which was, uh, which was required. Big cleanup which was required in, in the garden, in, in the outside area. And uh, also you can see the beautiful banner which has been, a uh, 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 beautiful banner which Prasanna Acharya brought from uh, uh, US, India. Yeah, from, from India. So thank you so much. So uh, with, with these few words, a big thank you to all our priests, uh, Vishnath Acharya Ru, Nitish Acharya Ru, And, and also, uh, not to not to ever forget, you know, uh, our caretaker of our uh, of our stomach, Mr. Uh, Venkatesh Acharya, who feeds us regularly. So, and and the kitchen team, all uh, who have engaged today, uh, Nagendra ji, uh, who helped us uh, cook a delicious meal in the afternoon, and also the prasada for the evening. Uh, who, who worked in the small area, whatever the kitchen was available uh, and made all, all the things possible because we had about 150 to 200 guests in the afternoon. So, and it was, it, it was, it was, a, it was a really a great celebration. So, with, with all this, if, if this has been possible here on this, uh, in this land of Australia, we have to say a big thank you to see uh, to His Holiness Sukhanendra Tirtha Swamiji, who, who accepted uh, our invitation to come here, who accepted our invitation to come here and uh, uh, st stay amongst us for a few days, few weeks, few months, and then get the feel of it and take this uh, 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 priest house, which was there in Hampton Park, to this like, second stage uh, here in uh, uh, in Port Street in Murambina. So, uh, with, with these few thanks. With, with this few thanks, I would uh, again like to say thank you, thank you to Prasanna Acharya who, who guides us right from the front. So, thank you so much. Thank you.
you Steve once more for coming down and uh, uh, we, we would like to definitely uh, give you some uh, Indian prasada which you can carry and share with your, share with your family. Thank you. Thank you. The evening for the puja will begin shortly now, so please be patient and uh, be present.